Hello everyone, this is Rahul from BI Training Hub. In previous video, we have seen calculated fields for conditional formatting. In this video, we will see how we can have dynamic shapes created in calculated field. Let's say we are creating a graph where we want to understand if profit is greater than zero, equal to zero, less than zero. But we want dynamic shapes next to that profit column. So let's say if the profit is positive, if it is greater than zero, we'll show upward arrow with green color. If profit is exactly equal to zero, we'll have blue color circle. And if profit is negative, then we'll have downward arrow with red color. So we'll have these dynamic shape changing based on whatever data we have. So let's create that graph. We'll go to Tableau desktop. Let's connect to sample superstore file. We'll go to Microsoft Excel then go to my documents my tableau repository and data sources folder in that i'll go to 2020.1 us data sample superstore we'll use order tab in this worksheet let's go to new worksheet to create dynamic shapes first i'll create a table with let's say customer name i'll drag customer name and profit so let's drag profit and put it in rows. Once we drag profit in row, as it is a continuous column, it will show a bar chart. We want to show it as a number. So right click on the sum of profit and change it to discrete. And it will show the profit value for each customer. Now next to each profit value, we want to show upward arrow for positive profit, blue color circle for zero profit and downward arrow with red color for negative profit. But to check whether the profit is above zero, equal to zero or less than zero, we'll need a calculated field. So let's go to analysis tab and we'll create a calculated field. I'll name this calculated field as profit threshold. And what formula will write here? As we are checking condition, we'll write if sum of profit is greater than zero, then in single quote or double quote, we'll write positive. Else if, this else and if should be together. Sum of profit is equal to zero. Then in single quote, I'll write zero. Else it will be negative. And for every if statement, there should be one end statement. The calculation is if sum of profit is greater than zero, then it is positive. Else if sum of profit is equal to zero, then it is zero, else negative, and click on okay. And we'll get this calculated field in major. As you can see equal to sign next to its data type, that shows it is a calculated field. Let's bring this calculated field in row. Now you can see for positive numbers, it is showing positive, for negative numbers, it is showing negative. But we don't want to display it as a positive or negative. We want icons which will change based on our condition. So let's go to this mark section. From there, we'll change the graph type to shape. Next to each customer name, now we'll get one circle. But we don't want circle there. We want to change that shape based on our condition. So let's drag this calculated field of profit threshold on shape. Now we can see there are two values here, positive and negative. Right now there is no customer with exact profit value zero. So we'll not have zero value, but then we'll see how to bring that zero value later. So when we drag this profit threshold on shape, it is showing circle and square, which is the default palette. We don't want this default palette. We want to change it to upward arrow and downward arrow. So we'll go to the shape button. Here from the drop down, we can select different palettes. I'll select this filled palette. For negative value, we'll have downward arrow. For positive value, we'll have upward arrow. Click on OK. And we can see the shapes with downward arrow and upward arrow. Let's sort the graph. So all positive numbers will be together and all the negative numbers will be together. Right now, it's just having one color. As we want to change color of the graph, again, drag this profit threshold on color. So if anything is positive, it will have one color, if anything is negative, it will have second color. But we don't want these default color palettes, which is blue and orange. Now we want to change it to, let's say, red and green. So let's go to this color option, edit colors. Here we have negative, double click. You can write what RGB value you want for negative. 
I'll give this color for negative. For positive, we'll have let's say green color. So I'll give this color for positive. Click on OK. And now we can see the color is changing based on the condition. Now we are getting upward arrow with green color for positive and downward arrow with red color for negative. But there is no zero value. So if we refresh our data next time, and next time if you have any customer with exact profit value zero, W will assign any random shape and color to that, which we don't want. We want to have a blue color circle for the third value. To get that third value, we'll go to this profit threshold calculation, edit this calculation. Right now it is sum of profit is greater than zero. I'll just change it to round of sum of profit is greater than zero else if round of sum of profit is equal to zero by adding this round function if you have any sum of profit value which is between minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 that will be rounded off to zero click on ok and now we'll have this zero value added here if you just scroll down you will see few customers where profit is between minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 and for those customers we are getting this plus sign. We don't want this plus sign. So let's go to shape and go to fill palette. For the zero, we'll have filled circle. For color, you can double click on it and you can assign blue color. So we'll be getting blue color circles. But this round function is not part of our logic. So we'll again go to profit threshold calculation, edit this calculation, and let's remove this round function. As that is not part of our logic, We'll remove it. We have just added that round function to get zero value in the view. We'll remove it. Click on OK. So right now we won't have any customer with exact profit value zero. So it won't show zero value. But next time if we update our data and if you have any customer with exact profit value zero, this workbook knows what color and shape it should assign. So it will assign that blue color circle. So in this profit column we are getting profit value and next to it we have the shape which is showing whether the profit is positive zero or negative but they are placed in two different columns if you want to bring them together drag sum of profit from row and put it on label now the label and icon will overlap because there is no sufficient space in this column to hold both label and icon let's drag it let's drag the width of that column and now we'll have this icon and label but still there are few numbers which are overlapping on the icon that is because this profit value is not having fixed number of decimal places so let's fix those decimal places right click on the sum of profit go to format in format we have header and paint tab let's go to this paint tab numbers number custom we'll keep let's say one decimal place then close this format window and now we can see the profit value next to each icon the color of this profit number is black if you want to change its color based on the condition given we can go to label go to font there is option of match mark color i'll make it bold and this is how our graph will look like. that's how we can add dynamic shapes now these dynamic shapes will work for any column so right now it is on customer name you can let's say drag region instead of customer name or you can drag state column subcategory column and your graph will change as per your dimension because our calculation says if it is sum of profit as it is sum of profit it will aggregate it based on the dimensions which are there in the graph and that's how we'll be getting the dynamic shapes let's name this worksheet as a dynamic shapes that's how you can have dynamic shapes created through calculated fields. You'll get all these workbooks which I create during our video session on our website of BI Training Hub. If you have any questions about any of the topic, you can comment those questions and we'll address those questions. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos.